Hi, this is our Festival stand. I realize I've made a couple of videos this week, but I haven't actually shown you our own stand, which I'm slightly biased, but I do think it is one of the loveliest stands in the entire show. And we have had lots of compliments about it. The other good thing about this stand is it's very close to the entrance, so our sore feet don't have far to walk. But if you come with me, I'll show you some of the special things on it. We have a number of what we call sample pods at the stand. We've got Fomalux, we've got um, Marpet, Marquil, Marlon, and our environmental products at the end. Um, if you look up there to the Brett Martin name, that's actually cut out of our Fomalux Eco, which is a black foam PVC that's made with up to 80% regrind material. So we wanted to have that on show on the stand. We've also been able to get a lot of goodies from our approved partners. This is a, a Fomalux Extra Lion's Head made by Kongsberg for us. We've got down here, let me squeeze past this lady. We had this printed by Roland, so we've got lots of, of things. And over here, we've just got this from Agfa. We've got this piece of artwork um, made by Agfa. It's printed on the on the black side of our Fomalux Extra and with a um, white spot colour and also this is um, varnish on it. So it's it's really a quite a lovely effect. It's a composite picture of, of um, parts of Berlin, so quite interesting. Up here, we this is our artwork wall, shall we call it? Um, we've, we've got different images printed on our full Fomalux range and also our full transparent range. Um, just to show that you can print on them. Next to that, we've got um, a long piece of um, our pet G F S, our pet G, tied in a knot, and then uh, tied in a knot and drilled to the wall. You should have seen the stand builder's face when they were holding it, going, "And what do you want me to do with this?" And go tie it in a knot and drill it, drill holes in it, and stick it to the wall. And they're like, "Okay." So <laughs> that was that. Now this is my favourite part. Just take the water. Talking is a very thirsty business. Um, this is our installation wall and it is, it's made with three pieces of Fomalux white, then two pieces of PET G and then the final piece is um, acrylic, Marquil and we were very lucky with the approved partners that we have. Um, Swiss Q Print did the printing on this and have done an absolutely beautiful job and then Zund did the cutting and um, it, we were really, really pleased with how how this went and I think it just makes a really attractive part of the stand now if we just go to the end go to the end here I want to show you some things in our um, sustainable boot um, pod most of these products here are what we call our eco range and they contain regrind so uh, regrind is when we basically take the waste and scrap from our own factory we grind it up hence the name regrind and then we put it back into the production process and um, the, the Fomalux contains up to 80% regrind. The uh, marker, which is uh, extruded acrylic, it's 50% um, and the PET G 50% as well. So that's that. But this is the special, special one that we're actually introducing this week. It's Marlon BioPlus. Excuse the, it's picked up a little bit of dust off the, um, off the MDF that this is made of. But um, what BioPlus means is it contains um, a biocircular resin, and that resin is made from used cooking oil. So, yes, you heard me right, used cooking oil. So instead of having um, it all made from resins that are based on fossil fuels, we're now starting to introduce into our production process resins that are made from um, things like used cooking oil that is, would otherwise have been put in, in the waste. It's now being made into a resin, then made into a polycarbonate um, and sold under the BioPlus name. Flat sheet, corrugated sheet and multi-wall sheet. And um, the whole title of how you talk about this is that it's, it's mass balanced. So basically what we put into our uh, extrusion systems and what we take out at the end under the name of BioPlus has to balance it. We have to be able to um, prove to our customers that the resins that we use, it all adds up. And we're going for certification on this as well. So we should be able to have um, an ISCC plus certifi certificate later in the year. But I think this is this is definitely the way that we're going with, with um, plastics. Taking um, waste materials like cooking oil, as I said, 
and making it into something useful so it hasn't just reached the end of its life once it's finished in the chip shop. So um, that's what we've been showing people this week. We um, we had a well, we actually ran out of the number of brochures we printed on it because everybody's been wanting to know about it. So um, that is what we've had on this absolutely beautiful stand. Hopefully you like it. And um, Despy's been good for us. Thank you. See you soon.